Welcome people of the World Wide Web to my new YouTube channel Let's Play Retro and this is the very first uh, video ever on this channel and I'm very excited about this. So what this is all about, this is going to be a channel uh, that is just me or maybe some friends of mine later on. Let's see how this develops. Playing old games, right? And right now I want to play Barbarian. Barbarian. An awesome game that came out somewhere in the 80s, probably. And I was a little child, 12 years old or something, and I love playing this game with my little brother. And we spent hours uh, trying to chop our heads off playing this beautiful game. Um, <clears throat> I don't why, why doesn't it work? Okay, load. See, that's for everybody who has never seen this um, screen, for Commodore screen before, you actually had to um, uh, put a floppy disk into a floppy disk driver uh, and it was a very mechanical process and then you had to type in uh, some magical words. Uh, I never understood what that meant. Uh, so that was the um, order for the computer to process the data on the floppy disk and when the machine was ready you had to type and run and then you would have to wait a little bit as you can see and then the game would start loading very exciting moment for everybody and here we go there we go barbarian that's what we're gonna play today and it's gonna be amazing so th sorry for for the delay here Hit the spacebar and now intro by Jack Alien. Okay, so an alien wrote to Jack. So let's read the story. The story so far. Let's go to full screen and read the story. The story. The evil saucer Drax desires Princess Mariana and has sworn to wreck an unspeakable doom on the people of the Javelt City. Oh, Javelt, Javelt, City Javelt, unless she is delivered to him. However, he has agreed that if a champion can be found who is able to defeat his demonic guardians, the princess will be allowed to go free. All seems lost as champion after champion is defeated. Then from the forgotten wastelands of the north comes an unknown barbarian, a mighty warrior wielding his broadsword with deadly skill. Can he vanquished the forces of darkness and free the princess. Only you can say. All right. So that's the story. So basically we have to kill uh, a lot of uh, demons or demonic guardians um, in order to free the princess from the evil uh, sorcerer drags. All right. Now. Now we have to answer some questions before we can start play the game. Enable or disable fast loader? I don't know. I say let's load fast. Uh, which part do you want to play? I say part two uh, because the graphics are more beautiful, I guess, because there's drags in the background. You will see later on. Unlimited energy? No. I play with uh, limited energy. Uh, Sorcerer can't hit you. No, he shall hit me, but I probably will not uh, meet the sorcerer today. Now, this is a very interesting question right now. Princess Mariana is naked at the end. Please let her be naked at the end. Now, this is a high motivation to, um, to uh, beat the shit out of all the uh, evil guardians, guardian warriors. Yes, we want to see the princess naked. And here we go. Woo -hoo -hoo. Isn't that amazing? Okay. That's the demo right now, and um, I'm going to play the uh, naked um, uh, barbarian, and my enemy is going to be dressed in different colors. Uh, I don't know how many colors we're going to see later on in the game, uh, but uh, we will see. So now let me uh, make this thing work. Okay, I play one player. And let's do this. Here we go. Here we go. 
So I play, do not play with the, uh, uh, with the joystick. I'm using uh, the keys. And right now I'm just uh, rolling my um, way through the game. Uh, yes, so I'm the guy who's rolling on the ground right now. I'm trying to avoid uh, uh, any damage. And my strategy here is to hit the head after uh, the purple barbarian gets up again. That's what I want to do. And of course, the best thing you can do here is to chop off the head of your enemy in this game. I remember this very well because that was so cool. So this is my strategy. You just saw it. This is what I'm going to do here to defeat the purple one. I know it's not the very, you know, the most sophisticated fighting technique, but I think uh, whatever works, right? Now, let's try to chop the head off. Ah, ha ha, he saw that coming. I tried again. I tried again. Yes, I made it. Woo! And here comes the little green demon that kicks the head of the defeated uh, evil um, sword fighter. Here we go, and now there's the next one. Coming to the next one, and a, a change in graphics, probably. Yeah, it's beautiful. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, you might wonder why I do speak English, because you might guessed already that I'm not a native English speaker. I do so because uh, when I was a child, I had to deal with the English language. Um, playing these games because they, I, I just got got them in English. I don't know the story of this, but um, I find it very hard right now to fight fight properly, properly and speak at the same time. But this but is something. This is something um, um, I have to practice, and it's my first video, so I don't I don't give a shit. All right, all right, this is a very nice move, but it's not very effective, I think. So, um, the green one, yes, very nice. Like, I don't like, like, like this, come on. Yeah, ah. I'm not, I'm not so bad, actually, am I? Ah, ha, ha. Oh, well, I'm bad. Oh, whoa. And this is one of those things I love about these old games. They are still so much fun to play and totally um, consume your brains. Yes, you, they totally get you, pull you inside of their, I don't know, world, of their sound, of their graphics. Ah, I don't, I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die. I have to focus right now here. Ah, oh, this guy is going to kill me. Ah, oh, look at this. La, da. Okay, the green, the green guy killed me. So this is Barbarian. This is uh, just one of those super amazing games that came out on the uh, C64. Uh, and I played this for hours, but I never really achieved something. It was just, you know, so much fun. And playing this actually with someone else was uh, even more fun. And I really did play this with my uh, little brother all the time. And we were, yes, uh, actually, basically, just trying to chop our heads off. What's that? Go away. Okay. So I just keep on playing. And you guys, you can watch as long as you want. Um, this is my first uh, YouTube gaming video ever. And... I'm planning to come up with more of that stuff. Um, I'm going to play um, all my favorite. In the near future, I want to play uh, all my my favorite games I used to play on the C64 when I was a child, like 10 years, 12 years, I don't know. So the only chance I got to win this match here is to cut this dude's head off. But he's not dumb. He, he sees that coming. Ah, come on. I want to show the people something. Yeah, I want to be a hero. Ah! Okay. 
Okay, shop, shop is that. Nah. And this, uh, you have to be very precise. You have to have a very, very great timing uh, if you want to shop the head of your uh, opponent. I guess that's the word. Yes, it's a, uh, it's an amazingly violent game uh, with a lot of blood and gore for the C64. Um, and I loved that as a child. It was just uh, so much fun. I played just another round. And as I said before, um, subscribe. No, I didn't say that before. But if you uh, want to see more of this crappy thing I'm doing here, you just go ahead and subscribe and uh, enjoy yourself. Um, I don't even know how to get this started. So I'm just hitting here. Oh, oh, there we go. Here we go. One more try. Yes. Straight aim for the kneecap. It's a new strategy. Nah. Come on. Ah. Ah. Nah. Yes, that was nice. That was nice. The, that's the one. That's the one I was looking for all the time. That's the key. I am going to buy myself a um, USB joystick to be able to play those games the way we did when we were children. Ah, ah. Now, you know, I am uh, under the impression right now that this uh, guy is learning, but this is not impossible. I, I don't believe they did uh, know about uh, artificial intelligence by that time or did they I don't know it's a good question if you guys know if uh, or if you guys here's something for the comments please uh, if you like to comment on that uh, thing I'm doing here let me know would you uh, call this uh, enemies here um, artificial intelligence or not I think they are oh oh you can jump look at this ah all right so is this artificial intelligence I'm dealing here with I just need to hit him one more time that that's impossible come on yes yes victory is mine so um Drax is there and uh, I'm going to play this um, now for the next five hours until I saw the princess naked, <laughs> I guess, <laughs> or maybe not. So, yes, have fun killing your enemies. Do -do -do, do -do -do -do. Oh, the, the green one is uh, the green one is uh, better than the purple one. Look at this. No. Come to Baba. Look at this. Yes. Ah, I'm going to win against the green man. So you now you see I stopped speaking because I'm totally sucked into the fight here right now I have to focus a lot you know and usually about that time I would have my mother come into the room and say you have to do your homework you have to get good grades in school stop playing computer and get good grades learn you don't learn for school, you learn for life. And I would think to myself, I need to shop uh, somebody's head off, if you know what I mean. But at uh, the end of the day, my mama was right about learning in school. Um, I managed to uh, uh, finish school, get a job, uh, the other day and that was a great experience 
but I wish I could have been talking more about uh, my um, fighting techniques rather than my uh, professional life, which is really not worth mentioning. Ah, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Just one more hit. Oh, one more hit. Oh, no, he hit my head. Come on. No. Ah, yes, very good. Success again. Okay, little green demon, drag the guy out of you. I need another opponent. So you see, this game is incredible fun, even after all the years. Um, I mean, what does a good game, a good computer game need? It just needs good graphics, and these graphics are just amazing. It needs um, a good gameplay. Uh, it needs a nice sound. Uh, it shall never be frustrating. And this is absolutely a game which is not frustrating. You just uh, just have fun all the time. And it's, you know, it's and it's you need a high motivation. And we got this. We have a princess who's going to be naked. So what else do you need? I've never played for high scores, by the way. Never. I've always played for uh, for for the sake of it, I would say. Oh, this guy is good. He's good. He's good. Ah, he's really good. He's good. He's really good. So I made it to the uh, what is this yellow one? Yes, and I'm still basically using my uh, technique, make him fall, and then make hit his head. Okay, but uh, you know, make him fall, hit his head. Ah. Oh, he just had banged me. He had banged me. It's unbelievable. And there's only one solution for this head banging badass. It is chopping his head off. Oh wow! Yeah, they don't fall for this anymore. Oh come on! I can make it. I can make it. I can make it. Ah! Unbelievable. I'm not so bad, actually. I can manage this guy. He jumped over me, and now I have to rearrange everything. Ah, damn it. So I died. That's okay. That's it for today. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the first uh, Let's Play Retro Ever Barbarian. A beautiful game. And um, I uh, will play another game the other day. Maybe Ghostbusters or Rick Dangerous or something. Whatever, whatever I can find, whatever just strikes me as being the next proper thing to do. Have a nice day and see you around next time.